Welcome to John's Random Reviews. Bloody chainsaws. Anyway, this isn't mine. This is a work colleague's. And it works. He's told me it works. Anyway, it's a 36 volt Makita chainsaw. DUC 355. It takes two LXT batteries. And he reckons the chain keeps on flipping off or coming off. So I'm hoping it's something to do with the tensioner. And here, we might need a new chain. Don't know that at the moment, but that bit doesn't look so good, does it? That's not supposed to be like that. Anyway, let's get this off, these two nuts, and it'll release all this section where the chain goes onto the motor and whatnot. Now, I haven't got the box spanner. Well, why would I have the box spanner for this? Well, I could have asked for it, maybe. I've taken the batteries off, if you notice, safety. So what we're going to do, the old adjustable spanner job. Bloody hell. So much for that. Crikey Moses, I'll have to go and get my bloody socket set. Fucking hell, this isn't on, is it? Are they meant to be that fucking tight? Oh, sorry. Um, are they meant to be this bloody tight? I don't know. This is the little screw that you um, do the tensioning with there, but I'm going to go and get my socket set. I'll be back in a minute. I've got to go to the van and get my socket set out of the van, and then I'll be back in a minute. I've got it. I've got it. Quick note. Quick note. This socket set is awesome. Baco. Do you recognise the, the orange? Um... This is the best socket set I've ever had. Well, to tell the truth, I've only had about three. Um, I got one when I was 21. My boss gave me a socket set when I was 21 all them years ago, and I think I got another one at another point. But this is, it's perfect for me. What I mean is it's got, it's not got every bloody socket, but it's a 56-piece socket set. I think, hang on, just let me give a minute. 56-piece, quarter and half-inch dynamic drive socket set. S560. Right. So, if you're in the market for a socket set, I recommend this. Loads of um, half-inch ones, a good half-inch um, half ratchet, a quarter-inch ratchet, little bits, and in the top here, it's bloody tight. It's got some deep sockets there, half-inch. And it's got the usual... I think there's something meant to be there. Anyway, so... Seen these online in the UK, normally they're about 100 and bloody 50 quid, but I did see one, if you're quick, I think um, for 90 quid or something. And now that is absolute bargain for 90 quid. But I think we, what we do we need? Uh, a 13. Yeah, 13 socket. Hey, check out this little feature. You think, oh, won't go on. Won't go on. It's got a little ball there. So if you press the thing at the back, and it's locked on. Baco, Swedish, Swedish engineering. I don't know if they're made in Sweden, don't know where they're made, but anyway, we'll put that to one side. And see if we can get this to move. Is it a left-hand thread? Mm. No. So it should come off. Oh, bloody easy. If you got the right, if you got the right bloody tools, it's easy, isn't it? I was just being lazy because I couldn't be asked to go to the van. But we're in. He says. I think there must be a bit of a spring behind it or something. Oh. What? Oh, hang on. I thought that dropped out of that. Hey, you get, next, you get a few Allen keys as well in the socket set. I've got to remember to put that back in. 
What's the betting, right, that it's going to be full of sawdust and oil in here? What's the bets? Well, it's not too bad. Hmm. Well, I'm going to give it a good clean. And then, not sure really. It's got to be, hang on. Oh, I thought the bar was a bit bent, but it's not. A little bit, the bar's a bit bent. That's not right. Anyway, this bit's bent. The bar's a bit bent. Woohoo! New chain. Well, actually, I've got two new chains. And I've got the new one on, no problem at all. I hope I've got enough slack on there. I'm not really sure, but yeah, I think, I think you're supposed to have a little bit of play on that. I've straightened that bit up there. And I think I've got it all dialed in, ready to go. Give it a go. So I'm going to go outside and do some cutting. Right then, recently there's been some um, room in the rumour mill, or a little bit of gossip about me on my channel being uh, unsafe and not setting a good example. So look at me. Do I look like a, a forester? I don't know, I'm probably a little more like um, work on the motorway. Anyway, I've got my hard hat on. I haven't got any um, chainsaw pants right. So my plan was, I've put every single pants on my own under here. So if the chainsaw, for some reason, gets into my leg, it's gonna have to go through a, a few layers of my pants. Got my safety boots on, these are safety boots. I've got my goggles on, and I've also got ear defenders. So, I'm a bit scared, I hate bloody cha these chainsaws. But anyway, we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna cut, I know this, you're gonna say, I know what you're gonna say, this is, what are you cutting this, something that big for this for? This needs a bigger chainsaw. But we're going to give it a go. I think it'll do it. We've got a brand new blade on it. Now this is Ash. We got this from uh, one of the neighbours, and it's I think it's what did they call it? Ash dieback or something? This was cut down because of ash dieback, so it's already kind of like dying or dead or whatever. So I'm going to cut these into discs, and um, for next year's wood burner. So I've got the two batteries fully charged. Check that. Hang on. Yeah, fully charged six amp batteries. Now, if you come up to this chainsaw, if you're not unfamiliar with it, it's got a safety feature. You can't just come on, hold on to the trigger and turn it on. What you've got to do first is make that power button go green. So, we'll see if we can cut this bit of wood. Hang on. I'm getting a bit steamed up, I can't see what I'm doing, but I think that's a pretty good cut. Look at that. I think it was pretty easy. So what I'm gonna do now is to turn around a little bit. I'm gonna cut all these up a little bit and then see how many cuts we can get on a six amp battery. Well, bloody hell, I wasn't expecting that. Both six amp batteries are flat now, but look at all the bloody cuts it's done. Look at, look at that one. That must be nearly bloody, I don't know, um, 12 inches in um, diameter. So yeah, I'm, I'm impressed. I've got to say I'm impressed. It doesn't mean I'm gonna buy one of these, but it's a bit of a beast. The chain needs tightening up a bit. I think these stretch a little bit, apparently. But with a brand new blade in, this Makita DUC 355 36 volt chainsaw has cut all this wood. And it was easy, no problem at all. So there we go. I'm impressed with another amazing Makita tool. Okay, random is rad. Rock on.